everybody. This is Felicia and I am so glad to be back crafting. You have no idea. School has really taken up so much of my time to where I'm like, you know, can I get a break here? So I think we only have, this is the Thanksgiving break. So this video is coming across there, but I think we only have, um, let's see, I think, uh, three weeks. Is it three weeks? We have Thanksgiving break and then we have one, two, yes, three weeks left um, after school, after, after Thanksgiving break. I'm super stoked. Um, I have, in the meantime, I have prepared, if everything looks different to you, it is because I have prepared my area to basically record differently. Um, I have a new Mac Book Pro because my old one is over 10 years old and he was just really like going downhill. And I also have um, a new stand to record. I maybe will do a craft room tour. I don't know. It depends on on what December is going to look like for me. And um, uh, so I have a new setup and how I record now. I use my phone now because my phone was so much easier and now it connects to my MacBook Pro. And I am super ecstatic about that. I also have an iPad Pro, which I'm super ecstatic about that, um, which will help me edit my videos better, you know, add special effects. So I'm, I'm going to be learning a lot of that over my winter break when school is out. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. You're going to see my videos are going to be a little different than what they normally were in the past. I'm changing things up now. Uh... And like I said, sorry for being MIA, but like I said, school take, took priority and I wanted to make sure that I keep my 4.0 GPA, um, which I'm hoping, this is one class that's given me challenges, but I'm hoping that I could at least, you know, um, keep it close to at least a 4.0. But anyway, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started with crafting. Um, I am using the Allie Edwards Story Kit Mornings. Um, here is the, what you call it here that I have here, and I'm going to be using that. I also have a bunch of stuff in here that I'm going to be using, and then I have some stuff off to the side that you can't see. I might be using a stamp set, and so I'm prepared for that, And but what I have here is what I plan on using. Uh, I might pull more cards out, but right now, as of now, I just have this card. This is a 3 by 4 that comes with the morning's kit. Um, and then this is from an older kit that I pulled out and I might use the sunshine part of it as well. So, and I already typed up my journaling for this. Oops, sorry. I already typed up my journaling for this. Um, I cut my pieces for this because I'm trying to make my videos a little bit more prepared and prepare, you know, kind of get an idea of what I want as far as the story kits go. Um, but, um, as far as my regular scrapbooking videos, which I can't wait to get back into when school is out, then I will be, you know, doing what I did before in the past. But like I said, my videos are going to change guys. They're changing, but they're going to change for the better. Um, it's in order to keep my interests, you know, and then hopefully the way I'm changing it up, you guys will like it as well. I'm hoping <laughs> because I, I really, you know. And in case you guys don't uh, know, I do have another channel. It is called The Collegiate Adventurer, and it is a study community, and I'm trying to build that up. If you have any college students that um, you would like to um, go ahead and, and direct to that channel, please feel free to go ahead. I'll put the description in the box below on where you can find that channel, because not only do is it just a study channel, but it's also educational. I do occasionally show some of my trips and things that I do that you can still do, you know, even going to school full time. And that's the one thing that I'm really passionate about is taking my breaks when I need it. It's like when I need a break, I'm going to take a break. And so that's what I do. Anyway, so um, if you are interested, if you have like a college age student who is interested in learning things, you know, because I even taught about how to organize your supplies, how to um, get yourself ready for school, you know, prep and things like that, how to do um, annotations, how to um, do, I'm going to be doing more is how to do research because I get asked that a lot and 
Um, I'm also going to do some things on how to get your own study guide together, which I have kind of a partial video up for that. But um, I give a lot of tips as far as online school learning because learning online is tough and you can easily, easily become distracted and unmotivated. So anyway, enough with that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started with my video. Alrighty guys, like I said at the beginning here, I hope you really enjoy um, the new format that I'm having some videos, you know, and when I'm talking and I have a little background music, you know, just to kind of relax everybody. I mean, this is the first time I'm actually doing it this way, but hopefully it sounds pretty good and I'm hoping that you like it. Um, sometimes some of the music is not going to be as smooth as this one. I thought I'd start out with the smoothness. Some of it's going to be a little bit more happy or jumpy or kind of type of deal music. But for the most part, I thought I would just try something different. Alrighty. So now we're going to get on with the layout here. And, uh, in this picture here, like I said, this is a photo of my 18 mile mark, uh, the bridge. And it's, we have a bike trail, um, here in Sacramento that goes all the way from where, um, oh gosh, I would say from, there's a certain spot here in Sacramento, but anyways, it goes from central regular Sacramento area all the way up to Folsom. Um, and that, if you do a round trip bike ride, it's about 70 something miles. Well, I'm not doing a round trip <laughs> background. So, um, sorry, uh, bike ride. So I am definitely piecing mine a little bit. I start at the six mile marking and I go all the way up until I, you know, past the six miles that I do this. And I go all the way up until I get to, um, a, uh, the 18 mile mark. Uh, which gives me, um, I call it the 18 mile mark, but I go all the way up. I ride nine miles out and then nine miles back. Um, so anyway, so that's what I do and, um, I love it. I really enjoy the bike ride. Um, it's, it's especially early in the morning. Um, the bike trail is beautiful by the way. It's a, it's, it's smooth and you know, for the most part, it does have a lot of incline, um, both directions coming and going. And it also has a nice little scenic route because the river is right there. I mean, you can't help but watch the river. And then when you cross, you cross a few bridges, of course. And this is the second bridge here that you see that you cross. Um, and then there's more bridges that you go over, you know, as you get further out in the bike trail. But I love riding on that bike trail. I really do enjoy it. And so I usually, it's very peaceful. So I usually kind of, you know, have my, that's the only time when I wear my, um, ear uh phones and they're you know inner ear in earphones and so um and i have it to where I, I can still hear i can hear everything with those i don't have the my noise canceling ones on because then i wouldn't be able to hear a thing with those and those actually work um so um that's why i use those but anyway so this bike trail is is beautiful i mean i i can't even elaborate how much how beautiful it is and so that's what i would do for my exercise because i was forbidden to run until my back had gotten better well i got surprising news finally um just uh, um, a couple weeks ago and that i can start back to running again and so far so good i've already started running you know on off on off on off um and so right now i'm up to a mile which is pretty good for me because, you know, I, even though I haven't run and it's kind of scary because I'm like, oh my gosh, can I do this? Can I actually run? Can I, you know, I'm super stoked about that. So um, I really get excited. So that's what these stories are about. They're about me riding at one point and enjoying my morning rides. And then now I can also do run or my running um, mornings. And I can run in the mornings where it's nice and peaceful and quiet and I could just have a great old time now, you know, and that's what it's all about for me at this point in time um, in my life. Um, just keeping myself healthy, maintaining my health, maintaining everything because during the pandemic, of course, we all know what that's about. You're stuck in a house and you're stuck at home and you're cooped up and you know, it, you can't really go too many places without, you know, you limit, you actually just limit your, your, your outings and things to groceries and things that you might need from the uh, hardware store or things that you might need from, let's say Target, you know, things like that. You, even though you can order those things and I have done it a few times, I, I still feel that I need to go out. And so I do make it outside. And most of the times I'm outside is just for my exercise 
and my exercise purposes only. Um, I have been making little short little trips here and there to San Francisco to uh, historic towns and things like that, which you'll see coming up and further, you know, future videos. But I have been doing that and I've been keeping it local pretty much for the most part. I did go, however, uh, back up in July to um, Vegas and I did have a good time. We did stay safe um, and um, I would do it again because I had a great time. Um, I'm, I normally am a safe person. I have been a hand washer before all this pandemic stuff. I have always kept hand sanitizer on me. I've always kept hand sanitizer in my rooms. I mean, this is nothing new for me, that part. But for a lot of people, you'd be surprised. I was really shocked. It is new for a lot of people. <laughs> and I'm laughing because it's hilarious. But anyway, so, um, so I love these Allie Edwards kids because they do help me focus on certain stories. And, you know, I've been enjoying them and I've been going back to at least doing them, at, you know, at least one kit per, you know, I mean, sorry, one layout per kit. But now with this particular kit, I've been able to, there's a, a few more that I want to do with this kit. And so um, I'll be able to use it some more. So anyway, and here you can see my feet and um, my running shoes are the same exact color. I'm going to be taking a pictures of me running now with my running shoes. Um, and I decided to use this and kind of just, you know, um, talk about my mornings um, at the beach. Um, I haven't been able to go to the beach that often, but um, when I do go, I like to go early in the mornings because it's beautiful and it's so peaceful. I mean, the waves and stuff and the birds that you hear, it's still peaceful. So one of the reasons why I like to go to the beach is because it's peaceful and it's beautiful as well. So, But my running shoes are the same exact color as my water shoes, which is what I usually use to walk on the beach with because, you know, those are easy to clean and if you get sand in them it comes right out easily and all that other good stuff so now you see me here um, trying to get a little bit the uh, do some final finishing touches here on the layout and I'm trying to get it to where it looks you know where I carried over some of that rainbow from the first page to the second page um, I want to try to I, it's hard because it was the only card in here that was rainbow so I'm trying to you know divvy it up evenly without running out and making sure that I at least uh, have the rainbow color go over to the next page I'm using some of the um, chipboard here on the side as you can see and I do have to work on it so I could see where the layout is not fully on the mat like I used to have it so I have adjusted my camera since and so you'll be seeing that in future videos where I will definitely be um, having my, uh, my layouts, you know, where they need to go and, and have them. <laughs> so you, you can see the whole thing. So let's see. I think I am almost done with this. I think there was a few other finishing touches that I wanted to do. I'm not quite sure if the, um, let's see, what am I doing here? I can't even see myself what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm trying to figure out something, but, um, yeah, if you ever want to, and if you're ever interested in these Allie Edwards kits, they are worth getting because I get both the story stamp and the story kit. I've been getting them since the beginning. Once again, I say this all the time, but since she started the story kit, so you do not want to know how many of these things I have. I know it's over 50 so far because, you know, if you count that many years back and you count one kit a month, you can kind of calculate, you know, so uh, let's see, I think it was 2014 is when she started doing these. And I signed up for the very first kit and the story stamp all at the same time. And I have just that many stamps as I have, uh, stamp sets as I have the story kits. So um, I did try the stories by the month, but I found that it was overwhelming because not only did I have a bunch of stuff from the story stamp kit, but I had some stuff from this, the stories by the um, month. And so I decided to make sure that I um, definitely um, take care of um, just just kind of like go you know come back a little bit off of that so I just get the story stamp uh, kit and the story stamp stamp for the um, for every month 
And what I also like about it is that she does her classes as well. And you do get some tips and some ideas. You get some guest speakers who also do the um, the story stamp part of it all too. You get a lot of stuff in here when you're doing the, the story stamp. So if you're interested in that, I will leave a link down at the bottom. Uh, let's see, what else here can I talk about? Um... <laughs> It's funny because I really, this is the first time in a while I've ran actually, you know, out of things to say. So, um, for the most part, um, um, I am definitely going to be doing more videos, not as school is out. Uh, school has taken up a lot of my time. I have just been overwhelmed with it. So, um, I'm glad that I'm able to pretty much, um, do that anyways um, so I hope you enjoy um, the new video format um, I will definitely work on making sure that you see the full page and get that adjustment so right but you know when you change things around sometimes you have to kind of you know kind of work with what you got and kind of figure it out and reconfigure everything but I hope you enjoy that also, too, um, now that I'm going to be doing this new format, I hope you enjoy the music. I hope you enjoy the, the background music, I should say, and the new format of things. Things are changing. You know, I had to get up to date with everything. And like I said, I have the everything is new now. So um, it's a lot faster for me to edit and it's a lot faster for me to um, come up with uh, the new editing features and everything. So. I hope you enjoy and have a great and wonderful week and I'm going to go back to my to the finishing touches. Okay, so I am done with this layout. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I'm off a little tiny bit with the height measurements, but it's okay. But this is the complete layout. Um, I'm really happy with the way it came out because it does tell the story and how I view mornings which is my poem over here that i wrote myself um i used to do a lot of poem writing and back in the day but we're not going to go over that anyway so that's my poem and then i wrote a little bit of a story over here explaining why i like mornings so much um, um in this photo right here you can see there's a bike trail and i i cycle a lot and i go across this trail this is the 18 mile mark here this uh, bridge here and I really like this and then I turn around and I come back um, it's for a total of because it's like um, it's nine miles out and then nine miles back so I'm actually past that right now but that was during like the late summer when I would go and hit this mark right here and then um, these are my um, they're not running shoes but they're uh, water shoes and this is a sand at the beach this is one of the mornings when I was happened to be at the beach and I love the beach and so um, I just decided to go ahead and use that photo as well because I really like how that came out um, and then we have like the story the story tells about how and this kind of reminded me I haven't had the opportunity just yet but um, I just started back running after three years of non-active running due to back injury. And now I can, you know, after all the therapy that I've been going through for the last six months on my back, um, I am now able to run and I'm super stoked and super excited about that. So I do have yet to take pictures of me with my running shoes on, but these are almost the same exact color as my running shoes, which is kind of funny. So that's why I decided to use this photo. But anyway, so this is done and I enjoy putting this layout together. I like how it was offset here and then it goes over to here with just the one photo, the photo of the two activities that I really like to do. This is this representing running. Um, so between cycling and running, um, I mean, what else can you do really, to be honest with you? <laughs> so I'm excited about that. And like I said, this is my mornings and I love my mornings and so, I'm going to do another layout on my morning routine, um, which is also when I was getting up early in the mornings to listen to my pre-recorded lectures. And then some of the lectures were on Zoom, of course. So um, I definitely going to do another layout regarding that because that, oh my gosh, if I didn't get up in the mornings to get that started, you could forget it. So I kept, I, I kept a constant or consistent, sorry, routine on getting that done. So 
Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed the new setup, which I'm still kind of working on. I think I have to tweak it a little bit, probably bring the camera back this way a little bit, but I'm working on it, guys. So anyway, so have a great and wonderful, wonderful um, scrappy crafting week. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.